All right. All right. Hello, everybody. We're back again with JavaScript. Uh, yesterday in the React group, we discovered something really cool from Jamal. And uh, I'm going to let him explain to you about uh, Code Sandbox. So uh, he's sharing his screen already. So everybody take a look. Take it away. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, so uh, before we start, make sure that everybody goes to the to the address uh, bar, course and the box that I owe, and and it will take you to the login. I prefer to log in with my GitHub and make sure that you logged in with GitHub. And this shows you that the dashboard where your kind of sandbox uh, projects will appear here. So now for the demo, I want to create a, a sandbox vanilla JavaScript so that I can export it to my GitHub and sync it so that whatever I make changes in sandbox, it will it will commit to the, to my GitHub repository. So now <clears throat> I will create a new sandbox, and there are it will give you an option of uh, many. Uh, Templates, Angular, React, Vue, a lot. So let's let's choose the vanilla JS, and it will appear like this. And the first thing you do is that you have to fork it, because this is the template that the sandbox provided. So after forking, it's it's it say that uh, the sandbox is forked. So uh, it's better. It's un untitled. Let's rename FCC Sandbox Starter. <clears throat> I rename it this. So now this is the name, and it has uh, uh, a folder source. There are two files: index and style, and there is a public HTML. Uh, it's linked to this index.js and so now <clears throat> let's make a change on the index.js um, and they say that uh, let's put some fc w3 dev yeah so here it, it's a uh, Hot reload, you don't have to refresh, it will automatically reload the changes and it will appear here. This makes it cool. And you don't have even save it, but let's save it so that we reflect our changes. So now, from the left corner, there are icons, uh, project, files, GitHub. Let's go to the GitHub. And it says that there is, I didn't create the FCC sandbox, this name in my in my GitHub, for example, let me go to my GitHub, GitHub account. So this is my GitHub account, and these are the repositories that I have. So now I didn't create uh, the FCC from Sandbox. So what I do with that, I give the name. Let's copy from here. And then I paste it. OK, I will, I will write it. Dot. It should be the same name. It doesn't matter. This is so I want to uh, create a repo. It says create a repository. It would create a repository in my GitHub FCC sandbox starter. And then now it's you can see that it's creating a repository. It's really handy without going to my GitHub account it's creating let's wait a little bit like less than a minute or so <clears throat> so sandbox is, is kind of online editor yeah it's an online editor uh, it has plenty of uh, uh, ready templates that you don't have to worry about uh, uh, the dependencies let's say that if you choose a project for react you don't have to uh, 
worry about like to create it. Or oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It gives you all the dependencies uh, uh, up to date. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you just have to worry about what you are doing, not about. Yeah. So if you can see, look at this. It's already pushed a new, a new sandbox which I didn't create it, but I created it through the sandbox in my in my GitHub, right? Yeah, you can see that. So, uh, so uh, let let let's say that let's say that let's make some changes. Mm. Uh, let's add some FCC wallet. I just added, and if you go to GitHub. Uh, why is it? It Sorry. should. You want to commit? Ah, uh, okay. I don't know for some reason it's uh, there. Okay, let's. Okay. What I need now is that so that to. To make changes. It's already here. But what about the other files like the index HTML? And... I don't know for some reason. Uh, let's let's try another one. Like let's change this file. Just just FCC. Let's see. Uh, and let's create. Just FCC. We're going to create a new repository. Yeah. Now, now it creates a re then it fetches from from my GitHub. Okay. Now, if I go to my uh, GitHub and then uh, let's search the new FCC. FCC. This this one, the one that you see. This is the one that now. You can see that all the folders that comes from the from the sandbox template. So uh, uh, let's check, say uh, check that yeah. GitHub again. Uh, my GitHub, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, no, yeah. no, no, from uh, from sandbox. sandbox. Yeah, to yes. see if it's connected. Like yeah, it. it's connected. Let's let's uh, change uh, something like. FCC change it. Let's say, for example, yeah. it should it should track. It will ask me that if I want to commit. Ah, good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, and I said that yes, for us to commit, for example, for us to commit. Then oh, I say cool. commit, and then it go, and then you will see that in here for us to commit will appear. In, in a minute, <laughs> yeah, it's still maybe, maybe refresh. Maybe I have to refresh, but. First commit will appear anyway. Yeah, this here we go. First commit. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I want to share. To That's you. pretty sweet. Though. Yeah, and then just create your project. Nice. And you push the repository to your uh, to your own uh, GitHub, and then whatever you are updating, you automatically commit. That's pretty dope, man. Yeah, and nice. then without nice. without. You don't have to go to here like let's like say previously we're doing a uh, new repository and name blah blah all this is automated through uh, code sandbox. You don't have to it's do. like a portable editor, like you know you can use it anywhere, wherever you like. You need only internet. Yeah, and also the good thing is that uh, your your dashboard is here. The, the the FCC the one that we created and also you have the same file in your GitHub also. You mm -hmm. will have two separate files. <clears throat> okay. Uh, one one more thing that I want to show you is that let's delete this. Let let's delete FCC the one that we created here. I moved it to trash. I don't have FCC now. Uh, good good morning, Kara. Kara, thank you for joining us. Yeah. We're, uh, so, we're going over code sandbox. We uh, in last night's React class, we uh, we saw 
we learned about code sandbox from Jamal, so he's just going through that. Okay. But uh, if you just log into go to codesandbox.io, uh -huh. then um, he's showing us how he connects his GitHub to Code Sandbox, and it's pretty dope. So uh, let's say that I I removed the FCC now, but I have it in my in my GitHub. So what I can do is that I will copy the link from address bar and go to to get from the from the dashboard like when you say create sandbox there is here if you say import from github okay then i click and then i import oh, put the man, URL and i put it here and here we go we have sweet we can bring from our github and continue coding here nice now let's say that i change it something here and then I saved it and it will immediately detect and then I commit commit again so I can commit and then it will push the new commit to the FCC I guess there is two things to take away from here one to create uh, a repository from uh, sandbox and mm -hmm. you made changes and you push it and if you want to delete that project from sandbox you can delete it and later you just bring the url from your github and then import it in sandbox and you just go coding if there is also, anything uh, you want to add yeah yeah you just do only the commit here you don't you don't push like there's you don't synchronize it you just only committing here you just, just yeah committing and also uh pull request for example if I took the URL address bar from earlier, for example, yeah. I don't have I don't have the right to commit, but I have the right only to make a pull request. Yeah, like I can show you what I mean. Uh, let's I edit this and I saved it. Let's say that this is not mine, and then here change it, and then here this commit will be disabled if the address is not mine. I only have pull request. Okay. Um, okay. I opened a pull request. And Elliot will see the changes and then okay. I, so yeah. yeah, why don't I try to make uh, I'll make a new sandbox and then I'll yeah, 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 the yeah. Link. please. Yeah, I'll stop the share and then go on. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. No, 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 I was gonna okay, let you keep then. sharing so that uh, you could walk us through a pull request. Yeah, I will talk to you like uh, while you are share that. Okay. Yeah. One sec. Let me uh, let me share then. All right. So I'm gonna walk through code sandbox. And it's gonna be in my dashboard. Yeah. And your dashboard should be pretty neat by now. It's a new <laughs> Here you don't have any projects because you you haven't created one. Okay, so I'm gonna create one with the plus sign. Let's say create let's reactor. Do... Oh, you want to do the react? Yeah, yeah. We go create reactor. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and then um, you have to fork it. The name. I was gonna name it. You have, you have to fork it to get a name. Oh, you have to fork oh. it first. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and then you get All right. That's forking. All right. So yeah, then I title. Yeah, just write a the name there. Uh, Click okay. once. Um, test. Click it. It will. Uh, it will. It will. It's a bit loading. No, like click. <clears throat> no, in, in the in the <clears throat> in ita in untitled text, not this one. Cancel. Cancel. Yeah, <clears throat> in that side you just need to click somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Just click it, and it will be uh, test. Yeah. It... Let me see. Mm. No. I don't know why it's not letting me. 
Ah, there we go. Yeah, no, it's I don't know why why they made it just make some um, reactive or something. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, All right, now, now you, let me do my yeah, you go GitHub. to GitHub. Yep. Yeah. And then you have to sign, sign in. in. Yes. And then you have to allow it authorize the sandbox. Authorize. Yeah. Confirm. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> All right, now I'm hooked up. Let's yeah, do a repository. repository. Yes. Um, create a repository. Or, okay, I'll just do this. Uh, React code or something. Yeah, let's do React code sandbox. Okay. Yeah. So now you just create a repository. Yeah, now it's creating a repository to your GitHub. Now if you go to your GitHub, uh what us go to your GitHub. Um, yeah, it's already up. Yeah, and then if we go to your repositories. Let's watch that 16, if it becomes a <laughs> And you have to see code. Yep, it became a 17. Where is it, uh, are you in? I'm gonna go to the repositories. And yes, I'll and then it. search, there is search box or something. Here it is. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. This is all folders are here. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, you can make you can make some changes and then commit. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, in H one or something. To, so you can click OK. Yeah. All right. Hello, Sandbox. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, you have to save it. So, control S. Then. Oh, I can just do Control S. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You just do Control S. But still, I can see that it's not saved. That is it. That. <coughs> Yeah, now it's saved, and also the code sandbox is running. Then it will now it will update hello w3. The text will be changed. Yeah. Now it's hello w3, and then if you go to GitHub, oh, no, wait, no, wait. No. I need to commit oh, first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, now okay. here, and then and then commit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Twenty-three devs. Yeah, and then just commit. Okay, commit. Yep. Um, <coughs> successfully committed, and if you go to your GitHub. Uh, what about if you made some change on the GitHub? So how can he get the the change <coughs> on the sandbox? change to the github you have to bring the url you have to import it to the code sandbox the one that i showed you the second last that i you have to import from the github the url all right there's my yeah hello so now, yeah now let's say that you have been working uh, without sandbox or you have been developing on your local and then change the push to github and if you want to continue to code sandbox what you have to do is that you have to delete this from code sandbox if you go to dashboard okay. you go to dashboard to your uh, uh, dashboard is in your picture in your profile picture 
Okay. Yeah, and there is a dashboard. Yes. Dash. And then the delete uh, the React, just React app, delete it for example. Uh, you can remove, yeah, you can move to the trash, yeah. All right. Yeah, and and uh, you go to the to your your to your GitHub. We we want to bring uh, within here. Yeah, in your no 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 in your GitHub the other, not code sandbox in. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, it, it, you need to grab the URL of this, like in the upper, the URL up, up, and the URL address. Yeah, just copy that. Mm -hmm. Copy and go to Code Sandbox. Okay. And create sandbox. Click in this, uh, the dash it create sandbox. Up, not React, but uh, the create sandbox. Like if you go back. You want to go back? Yeah, to sandbox. It's just <coughs> create a like a new. Okay. Create sandbox and then import down. There is a, there is import from GitHub. You don't have that feature. Maybe he need to. Yeah, click uh, first. there is vanilla. No, there's this one down. Presets. Yes, import. some presets. Yeah, yes. yes. Okay. Import from GitHub, and you put that URL. Uh, the URL from the GitHub, so that you can continue, because uh, Masfin has asked that, what if you've been making changes in your GitHub? What you can do is that you just bring the GitHub, the updated code, and then you continue from that. Yeah, in the visual code, there is one button like sync. When you click that sync, then it automatically update the, you see yeah, the reflection of the change on your editor. Yeah. But this one, yeah. Hey, Lloyd, uh, Zoom is telling me the session will be over in 10 minutes. What should I do? Um... Is it because I start the uh, session? Let me see if it upgrades. If I'm the host, then it shouldn't do that. Yeah, I think you are the host. <laughs> but once we get to a stopping point with Code Sandbox, then we can restart. Okay. Um, yeah, let's maybe do that. And then I'll restart yeah. it. But um, okay, so, so we're uh, here. Okay. Now we have a new, uh, yeah, now. What was the other thing? Um, the other thing is that if I took your, uh, your, uh, your, your, your uh, like you, if I fork it from you or if I took your address and then if I commit to your, Oh, that's right. Okay. So your project, then it will be. So like, I, I just make pull requests, not like commit. You know? Yeah. If I share, let's see what it looks like when you try to share. Share. You can share uh, uh, the URL, no, no. and we can. <coughs> we can. No, yeah, not share, share but if Jama fork the project from Eloy GitHub, then I think that's. That's the way how it should, it should be. Yeah, I can okay. I can make a, a pull request. Yeah. Yeah, but first you have to fork the project from him to your GitHub. Then you made it. You can make. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna just uh, post this in the chat. Yeah. Uh, what about? Or I can uh, I can oh. give you uh, my my link FCC so that you can. Yeah. Uh, what about branch? Can we make a branch in Sandbox? Uh, branch. Um, because you are updating the file, that. so are you updating the master? I don't, I haven't tried that branch. I don't know. Maybe it's actually branches. Uh, 
it's still uh, like uh, you can feed the URL of the branch. You can still do that. Uh, but like, I mean, when you are, we are doing this pull request, always you have to create your own branch. You do whatever you do. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. That that then, means you have to you have to put the URL of the branch. Uh, oh, wow. hmm. Okay, which we, branch? We, your branch, the URL of the branch is different than the URL of the master. So, if you put the URL of oh, the okay. branch, that means you are working on the branch. Yeah, you can work. Okay, I'm gonna end the meeting because okay. it's, gonna, it's saying less than a minute. So I'm gonna stop recording and I'll post a new Zoom link. So everybody, hang tight. Okay. All right. Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right.